saying it's like 92 degrees, something like that. Man, times like this, I mean, I don't think that'd be a good view to show all of that, brother. But I get it, we all hot out here, man. You know, imagine 100 something degrees. Like, this is part of the daily routine. My thing is just like, you know what, at this point, I wear my mask only when just to go to the stores, basically. Um, if I'm walking outside, I mean, I'll wear it since I'm around a crowd. But, you know, overall, forget that. It's too hot, man. It's too hot, man. Today we're on the 636 2013. This is the when they actually revamped it to the predecessor of the new one. Um, but you know what, guys? I pretty much want to do uh, a poll, right? Do you guys like the new one? Or like this previous model when it comes to aesthetics wise? 2020 um, it looks more like a 400 in the front but yet like from the waist here going down it has the body of the 636 which is freaking awesome um, I do love the LED and I do love the, um, the quick shifter because that's one thing this bike don't have unfortunately and it kind of sucks but whatever Right now I'm just basically just cruising. Yeah, we got a uh, camera over here, gotta be careful. Yeah, but um, yeah man, you know, I really wish that uh, this bike would've had a quick shifter. I mean, yeah, you could install aftermarket one, la 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 la. I mean, I'm aware of that, but Actually, I do have an aftermarket one, but it's not even functioning, so I had to disable it. So that's the issue that I have. I prefer, you know, um, OEM. You know, where they did testing, they could assure within the duration of the, um, the warranty that, you know, it will work, you know. Um, this bike is a good bike. And uh, what I wanna say also, is like for those guys that's finally trying to get into the industry of riding bikes, and if you guys trying to sit there, trying to contemplate whether, you know, should I start on a 250? I mean, you know, this topic is kind of like overrated, but to each his own. You know, some guys would say, well, depending on my physicality. So if you have a guy that's 6'3", weighs like 220 pounds, you know, he might not feel too comfortable starting on a um, on a 250, you know, because proportionally it won't it won't look right, right? A guy like myself, I'm only like 5'10", and uh, I weigh like 170, eh, 169, 170, you know, so I'm slim. And um, so a 600, even a 250 would look good on me, you know. Um, but then when it comes to like maneuvering in and out of traffic, yes, it's ideal. But when you hit get the highway, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Um, the 250 is going to be a little bit challenging because of the sense of um, you're not going to have that torque. All right, this is like a uh, target. They still uh, recommended that everybody needs to wait outside, you know, um, until, as you can see, the banks too, until it's actually safe to do inside because, you know, due to social distancing, um, it's crazy, yo. But anyway, I don't want to get off topic. Basically, what I was saying is, damn, shorty look kind of cute. Oh, actually, I need to be going towards the other side because I'm going towards a different direction here. I'm sorry, guys. I lost my train of thought. But like I was saying about, you know, picking the right bike, it's um, it just to each his own, you know? So if you're going to get a bike just to commute, you don't care about anything. You don't care how you look. And you want something that's more fuel efficient, whatever then by all means you know get a 300 or 400 you know those are great bikes it looks great um i mean from the front you really can't tell these days because they look like a 600 from the front the only way you could determine it is basically the sound of that um twin as well as the tire size you know so um the rear tire size that is because i think the rear tires i think it's like a 140 man my front brakes is a little bit weird man it's like kind of warpy wow 
I'm gonna have to um I'm gonna have to order new front brakes. Holy crap. I didn't realize that so just now as I'm hitting it, like it feels kinda like weird. I mean I haven't changed these brakes since since I got this bike. So it's been a while. So yeah, that answered my question. Maybe I should buy I'm gonna get some brake pads and try to do a DIY um to install them. Yeah, unfortunately I'm not gonna wanna hit the highway because these brakes they don't feel concrete to me, man. Uh, that's a nice 528i. Yeah. Let me just go for a little cruise. Yeah, man. So it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, these brakes don't feel good. Nah, they don't feel good at all. They feel horrible, man. Holy shit, dude. What the f? Hold on. I gotta see. I gotta check the meat to see how much meat is left. Um on my front brake pads i know my rear brake pads is pretty it's pretty okay because when i hit them they don't feel warpy at all i'll have to go 392. i like more park cars too but yeah like i was saying um so to each his own guys you know right would i recommend a super sport for a person that just started riding or thinking about riding with no prior riding experience no absolutely not um can't especially if you're young because um nine out of ten you know i know it looks cool you know i mean i get attention here and there people look at me and they're like you know but once again the perception is all oh, look at this look at this guy here he's probably going to be one of the guys that just gonna just do wheelies and do crazy shit but it depends on it depends on the you know depends on the person but i feel like if you have no riding prior experience and you want to get a bike i would suggest especially if you live in a city i would suggest that you get something that um you can learn on that's less forget well that's forgiving i'm not gonna say less forgiving but that's forgiving of course oh wow everybody's out yes good that's what i'm talking about this is beautiful this is beautiful man good 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 that's what i like to see you know um just enjoy yourselves man i understand we under a pandemic which i call it a pandemic all right because they plan this shit i'm sorry um but um you know for you to kind of live in a bubble because of it it's like nah you know it's gonna cause a lot of mental stress and that's also gonna contribute to breaking down your immune system so the hell with that you know oh four 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 wow guess the universe is talking to me now the universe is talking to me awesome so that's kind of awesome all right guys everybody's out out and about chilling baby chilling um probably gonna pull over soon just stand by the ocean well by this little lake view here nothing too crazy let me turn oh what wow there's a couple of guys here man ducatis baby see top echelon bikes aprilia's ducatis now damn those guys are balling boy see that's what you call that's like the 650e click but these guys pull up in H2s, V4s, Aprilias, R1Ms, top tier bikes, man. Yeah, but nah, they're looking at me like, yeah, look at this guy in his little Japanese 360 Get that shit out of here. <laughs> it's all love, man. It's all good. It's all good. One day, man. One day, you know, I'll be up there with you guys. You know. Uh, I'll be up there, you know, but I feel like the next bike I would like to get is the R1. I love the cross plane. Um, you know, my, my money's not long like that at all. I'm a poor brother, but my money, I'm a poor brother temporarily. And then, uh, because I want to make sure that the universe works in my favor to generate some income so I can help my family and then help to be in a better position, you know? in life 
Because everything starts with your mindset, you know? If I, if I said that I'm poor and I'm going to stay poor, then guess what? That is going to become a reality, you know? So you kind of want to um, make sure that, you know, you put that thought in the energy, you put that thought out in the universe, and then, and then from that, you would like to, um, you know, from that, you would like to uh, take action, you know? the law of action so things of that sort i'm about to bust a u-turn i don't want to drive too deep down here yeah that's why i'm just shifting gears so therefore i could just kind of like lower the way the bike sounds because i don't want to seem like an idiot you know there's a nice neighborhood very scenic area and these houses that you're looking at here i'm not gonna lie to you guys these homes are multi-million dollar homes i need probably like what what did you say? Million dollar homes, man. I am not talking, like this house right here, literally, this house is worth like 3.5 million, dude. 3.5 you're looking at right there, dog. Like it's it's crazy. Like they're in the millions. All right, now you have to be a financially stable in order to live in this community, okay? Like these homes are multi-million dollar homes. No BS. You don't believe me? Google it. I mean multi-million dollars. This right here, bro, you're looking at four million dollars, man. Like three million. This is like 2.2. Look at it, it looks like a castle. It's crazy. And and you're in Brooklyn, you know? This is Brooklyn, and Brooklyn right now is the new Manhattan. Because the average rent in Brooklyn is like 1,800 bucks just for like a 600 square apartment, okay? And the average home, not in this neighborhood, but like in a neighborhood that's kind of run down, those homes are like 800,000, 900,000. They're up there, man. All right. So, you know, I have to, it's, it's kind of crazy, to be honest. Let me just, uh, what's the U turn? Oh, they go to my old college, Kingsborough Community College. Man, I went to the school for at least like a couple of semesters, man. And after that, dude, I pretty much um, just decided to kind of like leave. I was like, the hell with it. He said, go ahead, buddy. Uh, I'm going to see. Oh, you can't stand in no time. I'm going to go over here, go by the trees, and go chill. Relax. Whew. Just enjoy myself a little bit. <sighs> Whatever. <sighs> anyway, let's go do this little inspection. On the brakes. <sighs> ah. Whew. Oh, this is like beautiful, man. Just to be able to kind of like go back. Like, you know, just being considerate. You don't want to be a dickhead. 